80. Yeah, a lot of people had time to text with me for hours on end, but they didn't have time to make a, an actual statement, to sit down and actually write one. I mean, it's the mass... I mean, I, mean, I, did, I did for you, like, a, a halfway statement. Like, I mean, I think that... I mean, I will do anything that you want. Like, I wrote out the statement about how I was harassed with the groups and how I was harassed with fucking Danica and all that. Um, but my biggest thing is that, like, I'll make you a deal right now. You want to hear it? What do you need? It, on, take my name off that YouTube video. We don't need now. to make a deal about that because I'm going to take it. I'm going to take your name off of that. We don't have to make a deal about that. You don't owe me anything for taking your name off of that. That is a reasonable request. We can do it. Do what? Will you take it off tonight? Yeah, I'm going to do it in just a couple of minutes. Okay, and um, out of respect, I, I really respect it and thank you. Um, I will go ahead and write uh, a full statement of everything I encountered with the whole Natalie Porn Tribute. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, that's definitely fair. Ma'am, I want you to know I never wanted to say any of the things I said. I didn't want to do any of the things that I did. I needed the cops to do their fucking jobs. Natalie was a good person to me. I said Natalie was a good person to me. I didn't want to have to say any of the things that I did, but I needed to force people to take a look at this situation because I've seen this situation happen to many people before me and a lot of people since. I mean, this is Boulder Police Department's MO. This is what they do. They're hobo hunters. The officer who assaulted me in January of last year has assaulted at least six other people since. The officer who uh, assaulted me in Longmont last August has assaulted at least two people and has two other people trying to get protection orders against that officer. Like, when I was talking about bad officers doing bad things, there's a history of these officers doing these things. And I, dude, I saw the videos that you posted, and I think that, no, I think, Sean, I think that it's amazing that you're standing up and you're being so strong about everything that you're doing. <laughs> like, I think that, yeah. And that's the thing that, like, that's why I'm supporting you, and that's why I've always supported you from day one, man. I don't know. I thought we were cool. I don't know. I just think that, yeah, keep doing what you're doing. It was kind of shitty that you totally threw me under the bus, but if you're willing to just take my name off that and just like we can roll with it and I can help you out and you can help me out but I don't want my name to just pop up as you talking shit about me in YouTube video I, I want <laughs> you, know you to I, mean? I want you to keep that fresh in your mind and then I want you to type up my name on the internet I already have man so you get it I get it I get so it, you John. understand why I don't have any problems with doing what you ask I don't have any problems with that whatsoever, Katie. Well, and that's why I don't have any problems with doing what you asked either. But at the time, I was just overwhelmed. and So was I. I. Can, sit back, I can sit back and talk to Rachel, and we can come up with a, a full statement. If you still want it, about how we were totally harassed. I, I do, and, including the names okay. of the people involved, any screenshots you can take. I mean, what these people did was... They shouldn't have done that. What the Bollingers did, they didn't just do that to Natalie. And all of us who have had to deal with the Bollingers since Natalie's death, I mean, ma'am, you shouldn't have been involved. Shannon Alvarado shouldn't have been involved. Dan Faber shouldn't have. None of you people should have had to. The police should have done their fucking jobs and Natalie would still be alive. No, I agree. I agree, dude. 
I mean, and we're not, and that's why, like, I thought we were on the same page with all this. And no, I agree entirely. And you're right. And you're totally right. You're right, Sean. We need to change the laws. And if I have to go to prison to get those laws changed so that people don't have to endure this, I'm willing to. I mean, I, I need this to stop. I need this cruelty to end. And not just against me, but against the homeless population. Yeah. There's sure. women who are homeless. There's minorities who are homeless. There's immigrants who are homeless. And there's even white men who are homeless. You know, there's no special interest groups for the homeless. And I was made yeah. homeless by Natalie's death. The people that I was staying with stole all of my money, you know. And that's not your fault, and that's not Dan's fault. All these people who sent me money, I shouldn't have needed their money. I had money coming in from disability. And I got my disability taken away because I was forced to break the law to try to force the police to do their fucking jobs. And I am frustrated with so many people for not keeping their word, but... That's the thing. I have to understand that you guys don't have time, but people aren't understanding that my deadlines are over on a lot of stuff already. There's a lot of evidence I can't get because it's been too long. So I'm, I don't think it's been too long. I think, I think you're good. Um, and a lot of it, yes. A lot of it. So much stuff. A lot of the video evidence from the facilities, some of it I had 30 days to get that information. Some of it I had 90 days to get that information. And some of it will never be allowed because I was prevented from going to two civil court dates where I could have shown what the police and the Bollingers were doing. The police, the Bollingers, and you know the judge who I was trying to go after in court? The one from Natalie Bollinger's case? He was the very same one who presided in the other two cases. That's a conflict of interest. The officer who assaulted me in Longmont was already involved in Natalie's case. He was supposed to have called me over Natalie's protection order, but never did. That's another conflict of interest. Every one of my public pretenders had conflicts of interest. It's a fucked up situation, and I'm doing my best to write it all out. I, I can send you a copy of what I have written so far. I would love that. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I'm just this. Never keeps her word and a horrible person. So, do you think that's like the best move? No, but it was my frustration at that point in time and the fact that I wasn't being communicated with at all. It was such long periods of time, and if something comes up. Like, the, the things that you said that you would do, I don't even understand how you could do those things from Iowa. You know? I, I don't. I don't. I'm actually. Go ahead. I'm not in Iowa. Oh. I don't live in Iowa. Okay. Well, that's a positive thing, I guess. Yeah, I we're cutting out. Can I have you call me tomorrow? Katie? We yeah. keep cutting out. Is there right if I, I have you call me tomorrow? I'll no, have it taken down. Can you delete that tonight? Yes, ma'am. I'll have it taken down by the time I talk to you next. Matter of fact, I'm about right, to hang up on you because of the connection issues and go do that now. Sound good? Perfect. If you do that now, I'll... Yeah. Yes, thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. All right. Be safe. You too. Bye. Bye.